Hi, this is Madhura. Welcome to madhuracrecipe.com. Today we are going to make jain curry. This is very simple recipe. We are not going to use any onion, ginger and garlic till it tastes super delicious. So let's begin with ingredients. First we are going to make cashew pears. For this here I have some cashew nuts. I have soaked them in warm water for about half an hour. And I have some sesame seeds. Just mix them together. Add these cashew nuts along with its water in it. And add some sesame seeds. And just grind to make very smooth paste. This cashew nuts and sesame seeds puree is ready now. I also have here this tomato puree. I have prepared this by using three big size tomatoes. Now heat about 3 teaspoon oil in a pan. First oil is hot, to this add bay leaf. And add whole garam masala. In whole garam masala I am using cardamom, cinnamon stick, cloves and black pepper corns. Now to this we are going to add tomato puree. Add this tomato puree. mix it and cook this tomato puree till the time water starts to evaporate from it and it becomes thick. You can see water has started to evaporate from this uh, tomato puree and it has started to become thick. Keep it stirring in between to avoid burning of these spices at the bottom. You can see water has evaporated from this tomato puree and it has become thick. Now this is the time we have to add this ground paste of cashew nuts and sesame seeds. Add it. This gives thickness to this curry and rich taste. Add dry spices. Add some cumin powder. Coriander powder. and red chili powder mix it and cook this till oil starts to lose out from the spices this will take about 3 to 4 minutes after cooking this gravy for about 4 minutes after adding cashew paste now it's a time to add some water to it Add water. Mix it. Adjust the quantity of water as per your choice. Accordingly how much thick or thin gravy you want. I will need more water. It looks beautiful. Mix it. Now sprinkle some salt. Mix. And here I have some chopped paneer. Add paneer. You may add some vegetables and green peas mix and cook this for another 5 minutes after cooking this for about 5 minutes now to this add some sugar mix and add some kasuri methi or dried methi leaf. Here I have some kasuri methi. Mix it and let it get cooked for another 5 minutes. After cooking this for about 5 minutes, I'll finally add some whipping cream. 
adding of this cream is optional this gives rich taste to this curry just mix it this jain mutter paneer is ready now it looks so pretty and its flavor is awesome wow it looks so beautiful mix it now turn off the gasket this curry is super delicious with lots of flavor no one can really believe you that you have prepared this without using onion garlic ginger serve this with rice roti paratha thanks for watching my video see you soon bye bye